fans, welcome back to another episode of Imperial Galactic Survival. This is your host Zelot, and we're here today doing the swamp start scenario. Um, and I'm just kind of flying around and look at behind me here. You can see the Talon Warrior Temple. Yeah. So this is a POI, a full blown POI one of the new ones and it's cool and all that but I'm not geared up to do this this is kinda like a end game type POI where there's lots of like see there's nasties in there and stuff lots of nasties so we're just gonna leave that alone for now I, I don't have the gear with me to go do that I, I'll put on some heavy armor and get some real weapons together for that so we went around and found a bunch of stuff. I got, I found a crash capital vessel, uh, shuttle hub, looted all that up, and I was just kind of working my way home when I found the uh, Talon Warrior Temple. So I just wanted to show you guys that. And unless I find something else on the way home, uh, I will meet you back at base and we'll continue on the CV build. Okay, there is something interesting right below me, so I think we need to kill it. It is a defense of some sort. I think it's a defense too. So, what's going to shoot at us? We have 340 as our range. Yeah, defense 3, who? And I'm not sure where the turrets are. Oh, those look like green ones there. So right there. Is that right? Oh, it totally takes out the whole pod. Whatever. Okay. It is there little sentry guns or anything? No? Okay. Are there troops around it? Doesn't look like it. Spawner. Oh. What's that? Is that the core right there? Really? Are you kidding me? No, they wouldn't do that, right? They wouldn't just put the core right frickin' there, would they? Because in that whole thing, uh, it's a... <sighs> do we have to... Yeah, see, we gotta do this stupid thing. We gotta shoot all that out. Get all the loot. Whoa! Come on! Oh, ah, oh, stupid camera. Oh, stop it. Camera's getting too squirrely. Let's just shoot through. Okay, we should be able to get these now. Ooh, 
lots of goodies. I'm glad I didn't blow that bottom of that tower up. It would have collapsed the whole thing and I would have got none of this because because it would have actually structural integrity the container and then I wouldn't have got the stuff out of it. It would have just disappeared. Okay, so... Wow, that was a good haul. Let's throw that in here for now. Okay. And... Excellent. Uh, well, it really, it's like made out of plastic or something. Oh, good. So there's some more. See? I'm literally one-shotting these blocks with the Gatling gun. So I think they must be plastic or something. It's weird. <laughs> That's awesome. Nice. Oh, did I leave a light up there? Oh, that wasn't the core. Oh, lame. That wasn't the core? Okay, well, there's no spawners on this thing, so I'm just gonna... I'm not gonna waste hand weapons trying to get to the core. There it is. See if there's anything else to loot. I'm not sure if there is. And there's a drone coming in, so let's deal with that. Okay. Well, here's another container. Wow, that was a lot of loot containers in this thing. Five, six, seven, eight. Eight loot containers. Let's just take the parts. That's fine. That's fine. That's all we need. Good enough. Good enough. Okay. <laughs> trying to head home. Trying to make our way there. Okay, I will meet you back at base unless something comes up. Okay, and another village on a mountaintop. So that's cool. I'm going to take out the drone and loot the village. And lots of stuff here, so let's just kill him. Actually, we'll loot him really quick. I forgot the lot to loot the last couple mini or uh, last couple drones, I think. Come on. No, 
Oh, okay, we can put that stuff in the mobile constructor. All the crafting parts. Okay, and then we can put the rest of this little stack. No. Okay. Okay. So we have the village. Now there's a bunch of spawners. I want to get rid of the bat dog spawners. So where are they? I think that's one there. I'm not sure about that one. Oh, I think that one's a bat dog spawner. And then one over here. Yeah. Okay. I think it is. Yeah. Can't remember where the uh Can't remember where the core is on this though. Is it like it's yeah, right there. <laughs> nice. Okay, so, well, let's loot it up. We don't really have to worry about the spawners now. See any drones? No. Okay. Although I do want the stone deco, so, and we'll grab the grow plot, so let's make a core. Okay, so I'm gonna make a core, I'm gonna core this thing, I'm gonna loot it, and then I'll meet you back at base. <laughs> trying to get there, trying. Hey guys, we're back at the base and we're going to continue working on the CV here. We've got tons of parts in the base cargo box and on us here we have, I think I put them all in here, yeah, so we'll grab, grab these blocks. small okay don't need those yet okay well I think what we'll do first oops yeah let's open that up oh we should probably put our pizza away I think we've got some pizza and stuff on us yeah oops don't really need to put that away So we've just got the hover engines on right now. I want to stay mobile with the hover engines and the turrets because just in case we get a drone that sneaks up on us, although a drone has not come here yet the entire time I've been here. So that would be completely out of the ordinary, but we can deal with it if a drone does show up. So not a big deal. Okay, let's continue. Do the uh, combat steel. 
finish off this stack. Actually, you know what? I'd rather I'd rather do a full stack. Okay, so let's continue these blocks out. And oh, let's finish that, and we'll do a do a symmetry plane because I don't want to. So I also had to shrink this down to a 13 by 7 because the 14 by 7, you can't center. So, yeah, <laughs> didn't work. Um, okay, anyway, not a big deal. Uh, so we, let's do a symmetry plane, and we're going to do... Symmetry plane, YZ, right there, yep, okay. And so what we're going to do is we're going to start angling in, but we want this. Do we want that to come out one? I guess so. So let's do at least one wide first. Okay. <clears throat> um, I really hope my, uh, you know, I should have, yeah, my, my SV will fly through there when that's open. Oh yeah, I just got to put it right down to the, to load. Oh, that's annoying. Let's do this side. Okay, so. Uh, now we kind of, do we want at this point to widen it out? When do we want to, yeah, I think we, we need to start going on an angle right away. So let's do that. Let's do, let's do the slope pieces and we can always tr do trim later. I just want to get this in. Okay, so let's put that right to the top. That'll carry through on the other side there. Yep, okay. Um, actually here, let's, oh really? <laughs> okay, I won't fly over to the other side anymore. <clears throat> Don't need to. And actually what we can do here is let's Let's cap this off because can I quite get that? No, come on. Oh, you were there. Come on. Ah. Okay. Um, so at this point, we should fill this in, right? Right, because it's going to be guaranteed that wide. Yeah, okay, so let's do that. Come on. And we'll get this in here. Okay. <coughs> Now, is that where we want to start the interior walls? So I don't, I don't think that's wide enough. I think I want to keep going. So let's do the slope here. And we're going to go like this. And then blocks. And then it's too bad we couldn't have two axes at the same time because that'd be kind of interesting. I'd like to be able to build a perfectly symmetrical box like that or, you know, diamond. Okay, so let's get this slope on. And another block. 
you can see how this build's going. <laughs> it's not going to be the most um, action you've ever seen, that's for sure. So, do we do blocks here to smooth that out? I think so, but yeah, because that's, that's really thin. <clears throat> so what I mean is literally going like this. Oops, come on. That. And there. That way it's not so paper thin. We got walls going up. Okay. <clears throat> Continue. Wow, we've eaten up a lot of blocks already. Holy crap. That's okay. We've got a bunch of the hardened steel. Okay. <clears throat> okay, how fat do I want to come out in the nacelles is really the question. So let's keep going. And we'll keep going here because it's still not enough. Not enough for me. Um, okay. Oops. Do we need to reposition ourselves? I think we do. Squares is that? It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight to the center. So that'd be another seven. So it's fourteen, fifteen. Yeah, that's actually about the right width, really. Okay, okay, let's do that. Let's do that. So, so I think at this point, we, so we're going seven, was it? Seven past that center one? Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. That was right, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Okay. Now I'm just gonna just gonna put this in for now. 
Um, we're going to run out of blocks here. Let me throw these together at least. Okay. <coughs> Okay, so we want to do another, we want to just match that, right? So that was, let's see, five, six, come on, seven, nice, okay, okay, we had that, good. Um, and then we start going in, and we start going in. Now what am I doing? And spin it, there we go. Okay, so let's oh, come on. It's hard to see that. Wow. That's okay. Good enough. <clears throat> I'm just going to put the one block for now because we'll probably end up using the. Uh, We'll end up using the regular hardened steel blocks to finish this with. That's pretty much a certainty at this point. Okay. Okay. Well, it's coming along. It's coming along. Let's keep going. Getting there. We might come a little bit further and not make this one so wide. So I think that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna keep, we're gonna continue the, <clears throat> the front tapering in a little bit more narrow. I know it's not gonna be perfectly balanced, but, uh, Want it to at least be a little bit aesthetic, like a smidge. <laughs> okay, trudging right along here, getting the the basic shape going. Now I'll be hacking into the the hull quite a bit. Um, this is just basically an outline for me, usually. I'll end up char changing it almost guaranteed, but maybe not. You never know. Chances are I won't go so high here, and I'll knock some of this down. So then my... I'm not really sure if I need the, the height at this point. 
So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, I'm not gonna need that. I'm not gonna need that. I need that in the back and the engines and then the rest of it can start tapering in. It can start tapering in. Can we make this taper down at the same time? Yes, we can. Yes, we can. So I think we're going to do something like this. Let's let's knock these out. Because I went too high anyway on this side. So it's, I'm going to knock it down. Okay. Uh, better do the other side. So that was how many did I? I only took off two blocks. What do I not think I'm going to need more than that? Two, three down here. <clears throat> stop it. Uh, gonna knock all this down. Taper in. Is there anything that does that? Just trying to think if if there's actually any blocks that we can do this with. What do we got here? That's four, four, facing four, and then, so there's no, so that one has no four. <coughs> That's that right there though. So is that, can we get this to go like, oh wait, but that slopes it, right? Yeah, that's not necessarily, oh yeah, I guess is that what I, that slope is gonna be like bad. Oh, right, okay. Yeah, exactly. The slope is actually going to be much further back. Okay, so we got to knock this way down, way back. <clears throat> I put way too much blocks up.
Yeah, I put way too much blocks up. So, crap. Okay, that's that's fine. That's fine. Actually, you know what? Let's use on the interior here. We'll just use some of these hardened steel. Put those back. Stop it. Where? Where am I? Over there. Okay. So I'm gonna put. Come on. trying to figure out the best way to do this without compromising too much space I think it's this right here and still having enough space to actually put everything that I need into it Yeah, that's fine. Just marking off where where everything is. Okay. Whoops. Come on. Take these out. Okay. Always got to remember to do the other side when you screw up because you'll forget about it and then it'll look really bad. It's like a double screw up. It's awesome. Okay. So yeah, I, I put way too much up on the sides here too. Okay. Okay, let's scoop that. Yeah, because it's going to start tapering from, it's going to start tapering from there. Okay, so we've got our bottom tier, and then second tier, and then, because that'll be where, where all the grow up, although for here, I can knock this down, knock that down, and we can just have grow plots here, and there. Hmm. So I don't really like this here. Oops. Seem to be zapping more blocks away than uh, putting in at this point. Okay. Okay. 
Okay. Oh, come on, you stupid thing. <laughs> uh, there we go. Okay, I'm starting to fade. This is getting a little long in the tooth. Actually, a lot long in the tooth. I think I'm going to call the episode here. Um, I'm going to trim that down and get it. Get, knock that down, and then we'll continue on. But you can see the gist of it. The gist of what I'm going for. Kind of a... Uh, and that'll keep going forward more. But that's going to taper down to it. I'm going to have to do a real slow taper. And it's going to have to start... I might have to do the get... Get it all the way to the front first. From the bottom. I think I need to pull the bottom together. And then we'll do the the floor, get the get the windows in and then determine how it's going to slope up and then we'll figure that out. Yeah. Okay. Well, we're getting there. It's starting to look like something. Not necessarily a vehicle, but something <laughs> better than than a a, a stick cross. Okay, guys, uh, next episode, uh, we may do a little adventure just before we dig into the CV again. I don't want it to be too much. I want to break up the building portions, the big builds, like CVs and stuff like that, without doing like four or five build scenarios in a row. Might We might go adventuring next scenario, or, or at least for a portion of the scenario. So till then, you guys have yourselves an awesome, awesome day. <laughs>